Hi everybody and welcome to your English class. I'm your teacher Angelo and you are the best students in Marian Frostish. You are in elite class, okay? You are the top, top students. Excellent. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, let's make a review about our knowledge, okay? Now, imagine that you go to this famous talent show, America's Got Talent, okay? You go to this program and the judges ask you, hey, hey Pepito, what can you do? Hmm, and you say, well, I don't know. Ah, I can sing, I can do magic tricks. I can fly, okay? Now, listen, ah, huh? imagine that you go to this famous program, America's Gold Talent, okay? And the Yashes ask you this question. Hey, Pepito, hey, Pepita, what can you do? And you say, well, I can sing like Bruno Mars, okay? Excellent. So, boys and girls, girls and boys, our topic today is this. What can you do? Okay? We use the auxiliary can to talk about abilities. Okay? Possible abilities or impossible abilities that we can do or we can do. Okay? For example, I can fly, but I can cook. I can sing and I can dance. I can swim. I can surf, I can skate, and I can roll a skate, okay? Remember, uh, we use the auxiliary can and can to talk about abilities, okay? So, let's go to the next PPT. Look, here in the PowerPoint, you have the grammar box, okay? Look. To make affirmative sentences, we use the auxiliary can, okay? I can, you can, he, she, it can, we can, you can, they can. To make affirmative sentences, positive sentences, okay? Next. To make negative sentences, we use the auxiliary can't, okay? You have the full form, the long form, you can say, hey, I cannot. Or the short form, the contracted form, and you say, oh, I can't. The long form, hey, you cannot. Short, you can. He, she, it cannot. Long. Short, he, she, it can't. Okay? Now, perfect. To make interrogative sentences, we use the auxiliary can at the beginning of the question, okay? You start your interrogative, your questions, with the auxiliary can, okay? And you can answer like this. Hey, can I play soccer? Yes, I can. No, I can't. I don't have a ball. Hey, can he play computer games? Yes, he can. No, he can. He has to study, okay? Now, let's see some examples. Here I have a reporter, okay? And she has a question. For example, hey, Superman, can you fly? And Superman says, yes, I can fly, okay? Because he's an affirmative and a positive sentence. And look, Superman can fly, okay? Affirmative sentences. You use the auxiliary can, okay? And next, the reporter. Hey, boy, can you fly? And the boy say, sorry, I can fly, okay? Look, can fly. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, easy or difficult? A piece of cake, right? Extremely, extremely easy, perfect. Okay, now, let's review this, okay? This is... Also a review, okay? WH questions. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys. We use the WH questions to ask 
for more information, okay? To get, para obtener more information, okay? Here we have el what, el when, el where, el how, el who, and why, okay? Let's see the meanings. What is the meaning of what in Spanish? Hmm? Excellent. Okay, let's see. Now, what is the meaning of what in Spanish? Perfect. That is the answer. Now, what is the meaning of when in Spanish? Perfect. Now, what is the meaning of where? For example, hey, where are you from? Hey, where do you live? Excellent. That is the answer. Now, what is the meaning of how? Perfect. That is the answer. For example, hey, how are you? Hey, how old are you? Okay. Now, what is the meaning of who in Spanish? Perfect. That is the answer. For example, hey, who are you? I'm Pepito. Like this. Okay. And what is the meaning of this? Why in Spanish? For example, hey, why do you study? I study because I like. What is the meaning of why? Excellent. Okay. Now, the WH questions are these. El what, el when, el where, el how, who, and why. Okay. And we use the WH questions to ask for more information. Okay. To get, obtener more information let's see here we have we use the double uh questions in questions of course and they always look they always go goes at the beginning look they always goes at the beginning of a question okay now boys and girls girls and boys here i have six questions okay and these questions are in this order. Now, listen, in your notebooks, you need to copy the, the last PPTs, okay? And you need to copy these questions, okay? These questions are in this order, and you need to write the questions in the correct order, okay? For example, let's do question number one together. Here we have can, what, she do what can she do no 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 can what she do no right the correct order is she do can what no um she can do what no but look hey here la wh questions goes a the beginning so your question is what can she do okay remember el what el where el when el why el who el how goes a davi beginning okay so the correct order is this what can she do okay so remember in your notebooks you need to write the correct order of this sentences okay the correct order now teacher teacher how we can answer these questions como respondemos excellent students excellent question look to answer these questions your answer is in the same question okay listen huh? to answer these questions first you need to identify the subject okay what is the subject? El can or el she? She. Okay, perfect. She can. Okay, she can. What is the meaning of do? ¿Qué significa do? Hacer, ¿verdad? So, she can. She can play. ¿Qué puedo hacer? She can play. She can sing. She can jump. Okay, like this. She can sing. Okay, now, let's do question number two. Huh? Number one, you need to identify the subject okay what is your subject a play or a day they they can they can what que cosa they can 
play, ok. They can play. And what is the meaning of where? ¿Qué significa where? Excellent. So, they can play. And you need to add this complement. Agregamos este complemento. El where, ¿dónde? They can play in the park. They can play in the beach. They can play in the gym. They can play in the computer. Ok, let's see. For example, they can play in the park. Ok, remember, to answer these WH questions, first, you need to identify the subject. Then, the bear, ok? And then you need to understand the WH question. What is the meaning of where? Donde. So you need to write the complement to answer el where. In the park, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the gym, ok? Now let's do question number three. When can he study? Rule number one, identify the subject. El he, perfect. He can study, okay? He can study and what is the meaning of when? In Spanish, when? Excellent. Cuando, verdad? So you can say, hey, he can study in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at one o'clock, at two o'clock, at half past two. Okay, let's see an example. He can study at 10 o'clock or he can study in the morning. Okay, now again, boys and girls, girls and boys, listen. To answer a WH question is easy, okay? Because your answer is in the same question. Rule number one, identify the subject, okay? Rule number two, identify the verb. And rule number three, you need to know the meaning of a WH question. The meaning of where, when, why, who, how in Spanish. And you need to write the complement, okay? Subject, verb, and the complement according to the WH question. El complemento va a ir de acuerdo al WH Question, okay? Now, look, in English, okay, to answer these questions, we have two auxiliary, okay? Two easy auxiliaries. The auxiliary in and the auxiliary at, okay? We use the auxiliary in to give a specific places. Listen, huh? We use the auxiliary in to talk about a specific places because it's a preposition of place, okay? For example, you can say in the park, in the gym, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the bathroom, okay? Preposition of place. So, this preposition in works with el where because el where is donde, place, okay? Excellent. Now, this preposition in also is a preposition of time, okay? You can say in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening, okay? Only three usage, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. So, this preposition in can work with el when, okay? Excellent. Now, the preposition at is a preposition of time to mention a specific hour, okay? At one o'clock, and a quarter past two, at half past one, at a quarter to two, okay? So, this preposition at is a preposition of time. So, this preposition at works with the WH question when, okay? Excellent. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, tell me, the WH questions using the auxiliary can to talk about abilities. Easy or difficult? It's a piece of cake, right? Easy. Glad for use. Yeah. 
Ok, perfect. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, let's go to your books. Ok, we are on page number A and on page number 9. Ok, the title of this unit is this, We've Got Talent. Ok, now, let's go to activity number 1. Ok, in activity number one, you need to look to the photos and complete with the correct action, ok? For example, how do you say this action? Sing, ok? But you need to add a lion G, singing. How do you say this? Move your body. Ok, easy, ok? In activity number one, you need to look at the photos and complete with the correct action, okay? Now, that's easy. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys. Let's go to activity number two, okay? In the middle of your books, you have a reading, okay? At the name of this reading, that this advertisement is Teens Have Got Talent, okay? Listen, you need to read this advertisement to answer the questions in activity number three. Okay, listen, you have five minutes to read this advertisement. Okay, for example, millions of kids all over the world enjoy watching TV, talent shows. Okay, read by yourself, please. Okay, perfect. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, you have read this advertisement. So, now, let's listen to the audio to complement your reading, okay? One, two, and three. Listen to complement your reading, okay? Size two. Millions of kids all over the world enjoy watching TV talent shows, but now you too can be in a show. Most young people can only dream of fame and fortune, but now that fantasy is becoming a reality for hundreds of British teenagers. You too can make it. Do you think you've got talent? Can you show your skills on national television? Can you impress the judges and our studio audience? Do you enjoy media attention? Are you looking for the chance to start a career in showbiz? Your big opportunity! Why don't you audition for Teens Have Got Talent? What are you waiting for? This show is for you, teenagers aged 13 to 19. Are you thinking, but I can't sing? I haven't got any talent. Not true. What about your other abilities? Can you dance? Can you tell jokes? Do magic? Write screenplays for television? Are you a composer or an actor? This is your chance to show us what you can do. The acts we choose from the local auditions go on to perform on one of our weekly TV programmes. The judges and our TV audience then choose the best acts to go on to the final. And the winner performs in front of Her Majesty the Queen in our final Christmas extravaganza. Why don't you come to an audition and try? To participate in the auditions, please send us a recent photo, a few words about you, a brief description of your act, a two-minute film clip of your act, your email address and mobile number. OK, perfect. Now, in activity number two, we have a question, OK? What is the name of this talent show? Easy, huh? What is the name of this talent show? Excellent, that is the answer. So, boys and girls, girls and boys, in activity number three here, you need to choose the correct answer, okay? Letter A, letter B, or letter C, okay? Your answers are according to the reading. For example, let's do number one together the new show is for adults women's 
o Teenagers in Britain? A, B, or C? Excellent, that is the answer, okay? Perfect. Now, in activity number four, you need to answer the three questions in your notebooks. For example, how old are the participants in this new show? They are 10 years old, 13 to 9, 19 years old, or they are 40 years old, okay? Excellent, that's perfect. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, let's go to activity number five, okay? In activity number five, you need to write sentences using el can or el can't, okay? For example, if, if you have a check, your sentence is with can or can. Excellent, with this. And if you have a cross, your sentence is with this, okay? It's not difficult, it's a piece of cake, easy. Now, let's go to activity number six. Okay, in activity number six, boys and girls, girls and boys, we have two columns, okay? In the first column, we have the name of different professions, actor, actress, director, photographers, cameraman, painter, composer, and singers. And in the second column with letters, we have the description of the profession. Okay, for example, students is the profession. Description, study. Painters, the profession. Description, paint houses, paint buildings. Okay, so in activity number six, you need to link, okay, unir the correct profession with the correct description, okay? Excellent, you are very, very intelligent students. So let's listen to the audio to check if your answers are correct or incorrect, okay? One, two, and three. Exercise six, professions. One. D. One, D, actor, actress. Description of the profession, acts in film. Like this, you need to write the correct letter. Letter D, okay? Now, listen to the audio again to check if your answers are correct or incorrect, okay? One, two, and three. Exercise six, professions. 1. D. Actor. Actress. Acts in films. 2. A. Director. Directs films. 3. G. Photographer. Takes photographs. 4. B. Cameraman. Uses a video or film camera. 5. C. Painter. Paints pictures. 6. F. Composer. Writes music. 7. H. Singer. Sing songs for an audience. So, your answers are correct or incorrect? Correct! Perfect! Okay, now let's go to activity number seven, okay? In activity number seven, you need to write, okay, the professions of these people in the images and what they can do, okay? In number one, we have Alicia Keys. Number two, Shakespeare. Number three, Pepita. Number four, Mozart. Number five, Leonardo da Vinci. Number six, Harry Porter. Number seven, Elby Presley. Number eight, Pepito. Okay, perfect. So, in your notebooks, you need to write like this. Alicia Keys 
is a singer, comma, she can sing. Okay, listen. Here you have numbers and you know the name of every number, okay? So, in your notebooks, you need to write the profession and what he or she can do, okay? You can use these descriptions. For example, pa -pa -pa -pa, Leonardo da Vinci is a painter. He can paint pictures, okay? Excellent. Activity number seven in your notebooks. You need to write the name of the person, the profession, and what he or she can do, okay? Number one, Alicia Keys. Number two, Shakespeare. Number three, Pepita. Number four, Mozart. Number five, Leonardo da Vinci. Number six, the actor of Harry Potter. Number seven, Elvi Presley. Number nine, Pepito, okay? Perfect, now, let's go to the next page. Okay, on page 10, we have a conversation, okay? And this conversation is about an interview to get a job, okay? And the title of this interview is this, I can dance quite well, okay? Listen. You are going to read this interview to understand the conversation, okay? And then I'm going to play to the audio to complement your reading comprehension, okay? Now, let's go to activity number one. I can dance quite well. Okay, we are in activity number one. You have one minute to read this conversation, okay? Okay, imagine that the time has passed. Imaginemos que el tiempo ya pasó, okay? Now, let's listen this interview. One, two, and three. Exercise one. I can dance quite well. Now, Anna, tell me about yourself. Sure. Uh, let's start with films. Why do you want to come to the LAC? I love the cinema. It's magic. But I don't just want to watch films. I want to be in them. Really? You want to be an actress then? And what about the performing arts? Can you dance? Yes, I can dance quite well. I go to modern dance classes on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Good, you're a ballerina too. Can you play any musical instruments? No, I can't play music at all. But I can sing really well. My singing teacher says I've got a great voice. At weekends, I sing in a bar in Covent Garden with three friends. We've got a blues band. What about languages? Can you speak any foreign languages? Yes, I can. I can speak French and I'm learning Italian. Really? Other interests or hobbies? I like making clothes and I enjoy taking photographs. I'm doing a photography course at the Art Centre at the moment. Excellent. Can you use a video camera? No, I can't. But I'm sure I can learn. Right. Is there anything else you can do? Well, there's cooking. I'm good at cooking. I help in the kitchen of my parents' B&B. OK. Cooking is creative. Let's write that too. OK, boys and girls. Now... Let's practice this interview, okay? Now you are Anna, and you need to mention Anna's part, okay? You are, remember, uh, you are Anna. One, two, and three. Exercise one. I can dance quite well. Now, Anna, tell me about yourself. Sure. Mm. Let's start with films. Why do you want to come to the LAC? Really? You want to be an actress then? And what about the performing arts? Can you dance? Yes. Good, you're a ballerina too. Can you play any musical instruments? No, I can't.
What about languages? Can you speak any foreign languages? Yes. Really? Other interests or hobbies? I like. Excellent. Can you use a video camera? No. Right. Is there anything else you can do? Well, there is cooking. OK. Cooking is creative. Let's write that too. OK, perfect. OK, perfect, boys and girls. Look, in activity number one, we have a question, OK? Listen and read. What is the situation? This conversation is a lesson, is an exam, or is an interview. You need to give a check to the correct answer, okay? Now, in activity number two, you need to give a check what Anna can do. And you need to give a cross to the actions that Anna can do, okay? That is activity number two. Remember, a check if Anna can do the action. A cross X if Anna can't do the action. Okay, that's perfect. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, in activity number three, you need to answer these four questions in your notebooks. Okay. For example, why does Anna want to study at the LAC? The answer is in this reading, okay? For example, let's do number one together. Why does Anna want to study at LAC? The answer is here, look. Anna, I love the cinema. It's magic, okay? That is the answer, so. Find the questions in the reading because there is your answer, okay? Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, easy or difficult? Easy, okay? Now, let's go to the second part of this video. Let's go to the PowerPoint. Okay, here we are. Can, can... Volume 2, okay? The second version. Look, we can also use el can y el can to make requests, okay? Teacher, teacher, what is a request? Ah, a request is a petición, okay? Let's see the examples. Hey, wow, it's hot. Can you open the window, please? Okay, it's a request, petición. Hey, come on, my English exam is extremely difficult. Hey, Luis, can you help me, please? Okay, excellent. We use el can y el can also to make a request, okay? To make a request, petition, petition, okay? Now, let's see the next PowerPoint, the next PPT. Look. Here we have a practice, okay? And you need to copy this in your notebooks. Look, here we have two columns. The first column, the first column, we have the situation, and in the next column, we have the request, okay? For example, wow, it's hot. Watch TV, show, help me, send an email, give me money, or oh, open a window. Open the window, so letter A here, okay? And in your notebooks, you need to write the complete request, okay? The complete situation. For example, it's hot. Can you open the window, please? Okay, remember, easier yeah? to make a request, you start with the, the auxiliary can, okay? And you finish with, please, con el porfa, Board, okay, easy or difficult? Easy. Now, let's see the next part of this video. Look, here we have the title of this is Degrees of Ability. Okay, we use the degrees of ability 
to say or to mention how how well we do an action okay the degrees of abilities are quantifiers quantificadores okay degresiones de habilidades and we use to say how como we do an action okay and here we have this really well well quite well not at all at all okay zero really well means hey 90 percent well 70 percent quite well 50 percent not at all 10 percent at all zero okay now teacher teacher can you give me an example yes here i have some examples for you okay for example i can sing really well okay really well we use the degrees of ability to say how como we can sing okay next example she can speak chinese quite well okay 50 percent okay quite well and like this they can fly at all zero zero possibility zero no way okay so uh, they can fly at all okay el at all el quite well a really well are degrees of ability and this degrees of ability goes at the end of the sentence okay you finish your sentence with the degree of ability okay easy or difficult extremely extremely easy okay now let's go to your books again okay in activity number four we have this let's see okay in activity number four you have a box with nine vocabulary okay with nine hobbies listen you need to write the correct hobby in the correct image okay this is an easy activity because you know the vocabulary for example how you do how do you say this action number three play chess chat online or listen to music easy right how you, how do you say for example activity number four chat online or play chess easy okay excellent listen you need to write the correct action in the correct image okay like this easy or difficult extremely extremely easy perfect now let's go to the next activity in activity number five okay we have the grammar about degrees of ability so here you have quite well really well not at all and well okay and here you have four spaces one two three four from zero to 100 so you need to write these four degrees of abilities in the correct order okay easy now activity number six we won't do okay we will not do no lo vamos a hacer but i have a homework for you okay let's see your homework okay you won't do activity number six no vamos a hacer la actividad número six but you have a better homework okay and this homework is like this let's show our knowledge okay and pay attention to your homework in your notebooks let's see you need to choose four celebrities around the world okay cristiano ronaldo messi i don't know uh, britney spears bruno mars michael jackson whoever okay and you need to write an interview interview using el can can't wh questions requests and degrees of ability okay listen huh? you need to choose four celebrities around the world 
and write an interview using can, can, wh questions, requests, and degrees of abilities, okay? And here you have an example, okay? For example, hey, what is your name? My name is Zue. Where are you from? I'm from China. What, wh question, what can you do? I can play piano really well. Auxiliary can, WH question, and degrees of ability. Hey, where can you do sports? I can do sports in the gym. Okay, WH question, preposition. Hey, can you smoke? No, I can. It's bad. WH, sorry, can. And here we have a request. I'm tired. Can you turn on the TV, please? Yes, of course, okay? Here you have an example. Of course, you need to use the others WH question. El what, el when, el where, el why, okay? This is an example. You can do a better, mejor interview, okay? This is your homework. Okay, boys and girls, girls and boys, we are almost finishing the video. Estamos casi acabando, okay? And here we have an extra point, okay? Here we have three words. Good at, really bad at, interest in, okay? Look, we use good at, really bad at, interest in with nouns or Gerunds, ok, lo utilizamos con sustantivo o con verbos que acaben en ing, ok, for example, I'm good at cooking, I'm good at doing my homework, I'm good at playing computer games, I'm good at playing tennis, I'm good at swimming, ok, now, you can say, for example, here I have another example, Harry is really bad, bad at singing. Another example, Pepito is really bad at cooking. Ah, disgusting. Teresa is really bad at kissing. Okay, next. Interest in. Interesado en, for example, I am interest in learning Portuguese. I am interest in study French. I am interest in traveling to Europe, okay? Perfect, this is an extra point. So, let's go to the next page because it's the final page of this video, okay? Let's go to the next page. Okay, in activity number one, you have the name of professions, actor, director, cameraman, photographer, painter, composer, and singer, And here you have images of the, of the objects, the things that they use in their professions, okay? So you need to write the correct letter in the correct number, okay? Excellent, easy, it's a piece of cake. Now, in activity number two, you have this. You have four professions and the description of the four professions, okay? You need to link the correct profession with the correct description, okay? You have a per paper boy. It's a boy who gives papers, okay? In an office, you have a shop assistant, the person who sells, for example, in Saga Falabella, Ripley, okay? You have a pizza delivery boy. The person who gives pizza, okay? The person who rides a motorbike, who rides a motorcycle, the bicycle, and goes to your house to give you the pizza, okay? And then we have a baby sister. A baby sister is the person who takes care of your baby when you go to the discotheque to dance, okay? This person takes care, cuida your children or babies, okay? Perfect, now, boys and girls, girls and boys, in activity number three, we are going to listen to the audio, okay? And you need to guess 
What job is Jane having an interview? ¿Para qué trabajo está aplicando? Paper, paper boy, shop assistant, pizza delivery, o baby sister. ¿Ok? Let's listen to the audio. One, two, three. Size three. So, James, what can you do? I'm good at basketball, and I can play the guitar. Yes, but, uh, for example, can you drive a car? It's important for this job. I can't drive a car, but I can drive a scooter. I've got a Vespa. Excellent. Now, do you know the town centre well? Can you find the streets easily? Oh, yes. I live in King Street. It's right in the centre. I know every street in town. Fantastic. Are you good at maths? You need to take the money and give change to customers when you deliver their pizzas. No problem. I'm really good at maths. It's my favourite subject. Great. Can you start tomorrow? Yes, I can. Of course. Thanks. OK, perfect. So, James is applying for a per paper boy, shop assistant, pizza delivery, Oh, baby sister, tell me the answer. Perfect, that is the answer. Okay, now, boys and girls, girls and boys, to finish this page, look, in activity number four, we have the interview, okay? We have the interview, but this interview is incomplete. You need to listen to the audio again, incomplete this conversation okay let's see one two and three listen to complete exercise, exercise three so james what can you do i'm good at basketball and i can play the guitar yes but uh for example can you drive a car it's important for this job i can't drive a car but i can drive a scooter I've got a Vespa. Excellent. Now, do you know the town centre well? Can you find the streets easily? Oh, yes. I live in King Street. It's right in the centre. I know every street in town. Fantastic. Are you good at maths? You need to take the money and give change to customers when you deliver their pizzas. No problem. I'm really good at maths. It's my favourite subject. Great. Can you start tomorrow? Yes, I can. Of course. Thanks. OK, perfect. I'm totally sure that you have finished activity number four. Perfect. OK, this is all, students. Remember to study your vocabulary, study your grammar, and do your homework, OK? Bye-bye. See you later. Take care. See you. The next class in English class, okay? If you have a question, ask me. Bye.